Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover how to convert 5 eighths to a decimal. Now when we convert a fraction to a decimal, we can do this by dividing the numerator, the top number of the fraction, by the denominator, the bottom number of the fraction. So for 5 eighths, we can set this up as 5 divided by 8. And now we can go through the division process. So we have 5 divided by 8. How many whole groups of 8 in 5? How many 8s in 5? Well, we can't do that. So we need a decimal and a zero in order to work through this. Once we have that decimal and the zero, we can bring the decimal straight up into where the quotient, the answer will be. And now we can think of this as 50 divided by eight. So how many whole groups of eight in 50? How many eights in 50? Well, six, that gets us to 48. And we need to put that six above the zero since we used that zero and thought of this as 50. That's going to line us up correctly. Now we multiply six times eight is 48. Subtract 50 minus 48 is two. Now we don't have a clean cut zero there at the bottom, so we can continue on by using another zero that we can bring down. And I'm actually going to extend the division bar here as well. So now we have 20, 20 divided by eight. How many whole groups of eight in 20? How many eights in 20? Well, two, that gets us to 16. Multiply, two times eight is 16, subtract, 20 minus 16 is four. So we still don't have that clean cut zero there at the bottom. So let's use another zero that we can bring down. And now we have 40, 40 divided by eight, which is five. So we put five up here, multiply five times eight, 40, subtract 40 minus 40 is zero. So now we have that clean cut zero there at the bottom and nothing else to bring down within our problem. So we are done. 5 eighths equals 625 thousandths. So let's write this over here. 5 eighths equals 0 0.625, 625 thousandths. So there you have it. There's how to convert 5 eighths to a decimal. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.